um, and just you've got to dream big in life um, and believe in yourself it really is that whatever puts a smile on your face go and find a way to make that happen because life isn't supposed to be working nine to five every day and going home miserable it's not supposed to be that way that's why we've been built to think go out there and find something that makes you happy whether it earns you money or not being happy is the most important thing it really is well thank you <laughs> Look, just the one it's 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 for everybody. It's not, but it's true. It's true. It's true. Though that life will get you down. Turn the news off. Don't watch that news every oh, hour. I, I Seriously. Can't, I literally can't watch the news. It's just too depressing. It's not just that. Don't, it's all it's organised. The, the news they choose what you see. So man, it's brainwashing. Don't do it. Don't watch the news. Seriously. Seriously. Watch Rick and Marty. I'll cheer you. Up. Hey, to, hey, to end the interview, I like to do what I call quick fire questions. Quick fire. You ready? Yeah, go on. Right, you ready? What do you prefer? Popcorn or crisps? Oh, crisp. Tea or coffee? Oh, I only had one coffee a day, but I do love a cup of tea. Ooh. No decisions. The thing is, I, I can't live without a coffee. I have to have that one coffee. So one so, coffee. So you got another one Just coffee. one, though. No. Just one coffee. Eating in, eating out. Eating out. I've, Dirty minded people! <laughs> That's terrible! <laughs> That's <laughs> terrible! It's got to come here! From the audience! Acting or singing? Because you know. Eat out! Sorry! <laughs> because you won the, um, the first charity film academy, didn't you? I did. you? I did! I did! And I love singing! Again, I love this, like live, yeah. live stuff and acting sometimes. I mean, I'll be honest with you, it can be boring. Because you are there, some days, 12 hours a day and you might be actually doing physically acting for probably one hour of that day most of it you sat around waiting for lighting waiting for cameras waiting for costume whatever it might be but actually physically doing the stuff you enjoy is minimal so the live stuff i really do love i love acting i love the characters i love playing it but actually physically doing it, it the long days can get to you um, but i do love the live stuff so it's not it's not singing but live if i could be more live then I prefer to do that, but I like to mix it up. Never do one thing. Keep moving. Dogs tax, tax man can't find you. Keep moving. Dogs or cats? Dogs. Don't get cats. Don't have cats. I have two cats. Well, I've got two cats. They just wreck me house. I've got two cats. One is the most loveliest thing you'll ever ever meet. The other um, one is literally Satan. There you did, go. Why did you, why, why you have that? Why are you feeding it? Did you? Yeah, did you? Yeah. Because it's Satan, it will destroy me. I killed the wrong cat. Does everyone know this? Oh, one? I researched did this. Did you ever find this? Did you ever find the owner? It cost, me, this. cost me a fortune. My, someone brought a cat to me house that had been missing for, my cat had been gone for eight months. And they, they said, oh, we've got your cat. <laughs> I mean, I mean, my wife FaceTimed me. She was like, look who's walked in. <laughs> and it looked proper shabby. I said, it looks rough. Anyway, it had a funny noise in its throat. So I took it to the vet. And the vet said it's got bad cancer in its throat. We're going to have to put it down. So I, I said, I'm not going to tell my daughter. She's got over the moon. We got our cat back. Anyway, I said, can we have one more day with the cat? And it was a Bengal. Um, it looked like a tiger. So we had this one more day. Pictures, everything. Took it back in. Cat got put down. I'm crying my eyes out in the relative room. Aww. Took this empty casket back. And we got these ashes. Put them on the mantelpiece. <laughs> and then two months later, the, the doorbell goes. Your cat's been run over, it's here, we've got it, it's damaged. And I said, it's not, it's on my windowsill. <laughs> and they said, no, we've scanned the, it's your cat. Yeah. And I found out I'd put the wrong cat down. It wasn't my cat. <laughs> Someone else's. Did you find the owner? So they, they lied. They wanted someone to put it down, they wanted me money. Because they said, oh, this is definitely your cat. So then it cost me three and a half grand to have my cat fixed. It broke its leg. It got fixed and it pissed off. <laughs> not seeing it now. If I see it again, it's getting hit with a shovel. That's the end of it. Just joking, animal lovers. Is that so you can have a matching pair on your shelf? Seriously, I've still got this one on my shelf. I don't even know who it is. Yeah. I've, got this, I've got these ashes on my shelf. It's not even my cat. So, so someone somewhere has gone, where did, where did George go? Oh, he's here, love. From my mother's shelf. But I was told it wasn't like I was being cruel. I had cancer, so yeah. I, did it. I, I was doing it, what the vet said. Uh, but it was yeah. like you found a random cat got this one's gonna die. The vet bills were extortionate. You know what? Vet, vet bills are extortionate. Dog, no, don't get a no. dog. Get a dog, at least you can train it. I'm cat, gonna... cat, come on then, come on. Feed me. <laughs> it's all they do. 
And he's great at it, he know. That's only you cats, they're not interested in you. My cat. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. You know, what can you train a cat to do? My cat literally the walks the litter tray, stands just outside the litter and pees on the floor and eyeballs me. Exactly. And I'm like, they know what they're doing. I'm like, what? They're not meant to be pets. They are literally wild animals. animals. I, I prefer dogs. That was the other, it was supposed to be quick fire. That was a bit long winded. <laughs> dogs. <laughs> well, that's, that's the end of our interview. Well, thank you very much for doing Thanks that. Thanks very much for coming out. You know, it's just over there if you want to get anything signed. It's really so nice. Cool. Cool. I'm going home now, balls. No, I'm, not. I'm, I'm over there. I'm here till five o'clock. See you in a bit. <laughs>